Hello, hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about an old D&D character that I love. This character, I will say, is probably the most threatening character I've ever made, and it's not for the reason you think. First, the setting. This campaign took place in the Red Dead Redemption 2 map, following a private military group called New World Security. Our group consisted of Tom Ryder, the leader of New World Security, Lilith, I don't remember her last name, I'm sorry, our field medic, my character, Summerlin Elwood, a long-range sniper, and lastly, Pele, a woman blessed by the gods, who only played in like three sessions before we ended up having to stop. Oh, and this was also all using the Call of Cthulhu module. Now, the reason I want to talk about them is that we're planning on doing a reboot. This is going to be, this is resetting our characters as well as the world, and probably not letting it be in the Red Dead 2 world anymore, but in its own setting. As well as, you know, we're not going to be using Call of Cthulhu anymore. We're going to have something different. It'll be fun. So I mainly want to talk about my character, Summerlin. If I make another one of these, I'll have one of the others hop in and talk about their character and stuff as I draw them and stuff. But I mainly want to talk about my boy because I want to talk about what I changed from his original and then what I turned him into in the reboot. In the original, Summerlin's backstory was that he was a courier. He worked for his uncle's company and would deliver packages and letters to whoever needed them. When Summerlin was growing up, people took note of his strange abilities, as in, Summerlin had magic, and during this time, magic wasn't very well liked. A priest took notice of this and tried to kill Summerlin, but instead of killing him, they killed his uncle, the only person Summerlin actually cared about. After that, Summerlin escaped. The priest hired New World Security to go and find Summerlin and capture him. But when they did find him, they were impressed by his ability and ended up offering him a job. Summerlin took the opportunity and was soon teamed up with Tom Ryder and the rest of the team. Also, at the start of the campaign, Summerlin only really had one spell. The ability to make his arms pass through solid objects. Only at his arms, up to his shoulders, can't do the rest of his body, just his arms. Now, I imagine this spell was originally supposed to be a lockpicking spell considering that's what we used it for a good amount of the times at the beginning. But throughout the campaign, Summerlin started using this spell for a different reason. During an encounter, someone made their way over to Summerlin. Again, Summerlin is a long distance sniper. He has no close range abilities. This man ended up grabbing him and in a desperate attempt to escape the man's grip, Summerlin used his only spell. He ended up grabbing the man's bone and pulling it clean out of his flesh. The man's arm went limp and Summerlin was left with an arm bone. From then on, if any enemy got close, Summerlin would just steal their bones. It was his goal from that point on, to find the man who killed his uncle and steal his skull. This did eventually happen. Summerlin humiliated this man in front of his followers and stole his prize. From that point on, Summerlin was known as the Devil of Saint Denis. Now we are doing a reboot for this and it will not be streamed or anything like that, but I will talk about it if you guys want to hear it. Reboot Summerlin's backstory starts when he was a baby. Instead of being left with his uncle, his uncle actually stole him from his mother. She ran a doomsday cult. She wished to use Summerlin to reinforce her beliefs and for her followers. Summerlin's uncle wished for him to have a normal life, so he stole him away and raised the boy himself. His uncle still ran a delivery service as well as Summerlin was still working in it. The priest still saw Summerlin as a demon and still sought him out to kill him as well as still killed his uncle instead of Summerlin. But from that day on, he vowed revenge. The priest still hired the New World Security to find the boy, but while tracking down Summerlin, they tracked him back to the church and walked in right when Summerlin stole the skull of the man who killed his uncle. After that, New World Security caught him and brought him in as a prisoner instead of an employee. Tom Ryder heard the news of a guy who stole someone's skull and wanted that power on his team. He just has to keep an eye on the kid while he's out on the field. And that's how Reboot Summerlin's story starts. I didn't want to have to redo the search for the priest and hunt him down and, you know, kill him again, so I just had Summerlin do it before the game even starts, as well as having his bone snatching already be established. Now, a few small things about Summerlin. He is 22 during the game. His original alignment was lawful evil, but in the reboot, we've actually changed it to be lawful neutral, as well as the fact that we are thinking of making him the party healer. 
And as you guys may know about Call of Cthulhu, you actually have to roll your character's size. I rolled absolute trash for Summerlin's size. So he is 4-9 throughout this entire thing. He does have a 99% in his horseback riding though. But yeah, that's the most terrifying character I've ever made. But the funny thing was, he was just a little guy doing little guy things and stealing bones. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as the speed paint and stuff. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments as well as the fact that like, you know, if you guys want to hear more about some of the other characters from this campaign, put it in the comments. I'll see it. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye!